Good day. In this video, we're going to look at one of the ways you can go about sketching a cubic function. It is very much like sketching a parabola. You will first look at the shape. It's either going to look like this or like this. Then we're going to work out what I call the turning points or the stationary points. We're going to work out our derivative equated to zero. Then we're going to work out our y-intercepts by making x zero. Then I usually start my sketch. Then I worked out my x-intercept by making y zero. Then I worked out my point of inflection where my second derivative is equal to zero. On the video that I did on the parabola, I also did shape first. Looks different, of course. Then I worked out the turning point. Then we worked the y-intercept. Then we worked out the x-intercept. The point of inflection is open for discussion. I will make five short videos to explain each one of these points separately. Otherwise, it will be take us too long in this video. Firstly, we have the equation of a cubic function. A third, x to the power of 3 minus 2x squared plus 3x. We put it as y equal to or f of x equals 2. On the side here, I write everything that I already mentioned. Shape, turning point, y-intercept, x-intercept, and point of inflection that I remember to get back to all of this. Because there's a plus in front of my x cube, my shape will look like this. The next thing I'm going to work out is my turning points or stationary points. I'm going to get my first derivative, work it out, and equate it to zero. Then we factorize this quadratic equation or use the quadratic formula and solve for x. Please go and look at the videos, how to find the first derivative, another video on solving quadratic equations. So we've got x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 1. One of them must go there and one of them must go there. Then we substitute this 3 back into the mother equation and then after that the 1 back into the mother equation to get their y values. Here I just said substitute the 3 back in there, you're going to get 0. Substitute the 1 back in there and you're going to get 1 and a third. Then I write my turning points as coordinates, so this is going to be my two coordinates. Then I fill them in on my shape here to get an idea what's going on. I did it in the rough ways over here, then we can start getting a feeling on where this is going. Seeing that we have our shape and our turning points now, we go for the y-intercept by making x zero in the original equation. Then we get the coordinate north and north, that's where it's going to go through the y-axis. Then I usually start my sketch. I fill in my two stationary points, the one is here and the other one is there, my crosses over there, make a cross at my y-intercept and I put my shape on here. The next thing I have to do is I have to work out my x-intercepts. In this specific case we were lucky, there is the x-intercept already and there is my other x-intercept, there is no more, so we don't have to work it out, but I did work it out. To work out your x-intercept you make y0, so you equate this and make y0, then you just solve for x. I times by 3 right through to get rid of the fraction. Then I factorize the x out. Then I factorize this quadratic expression further. And then I got my three x values. x is equal to 0, x is equal to 3, and x is equal to 3. But like I said, they were already here on my sketch. To find your point of inflection, work out your second derivative, double stripe in the air, and equate it to 0. Here's my first derivative, so I now work out my second derivative. That will look like this, 2x minus 4, and then I equate it to 0. And then I solve for x. Then x equals to 2, so the x value here will be 2. Then you substitute this x is equal to 2 back into the mother equation, that's what I wrote down here, and get 2 over 3. So the point of inflection will have an x value of 2 and a y value of 2 over 3. Then I fill in my point of inflection on my graph, and that will always be between my two stationary points. And there's my coordinate. So to summarize, we need to know what are the steps we're going to take. Shape, turning point, y-intercept, x-intercept, and a point of inflection. Original equation, first derivative for some reason, second derivative for some reason, and then our final sketch over here. Enjoy sketching cubic functions.